been on the road now for um, for nearly a week, and we're all starting to get a little bit homesick, and we're missing home comforts and the feeling of familiarity. But happily, uh, we've stopped off at this service station, and here is uh, one of the signs of home: uh, Piccadilly Circus Pizza, of course, with the famous Piccadilly Circus Lion. Uh, Piccadilly Circus Pizza, of course, the uh, the most famous pizza place in London, and of course the. Uh, familiar, the ubiquitous, the world famous lion mascot of Piccadilly Circus make us all feel like it's still, we're yeah. back in London. Really now. It's nice, it's a nice touch. Because of the circus, that's why it's got a lion. Because they think the Piccadilly Circus is a circus, which it isn't. It's just an area. Yeah. 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 This is our tour. See the dumpster here. Now go and have a look what's inside it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh hey friend. Hi buddy. This oh, oh. is the Evergreen Forest. Yeah, look at it. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Bird Raccoon wakes up. But raccoons are being a fucking shit with down this lock. Raise them. Fucking Bert Raccoon. He was doing quite well in the Disney films, wasn't he? Now look at him. Look what he's reduced to. Look at him. Sound of space was a bit shit. Poor shot. Right. We're going on stage in a minute. Uh, I'm in a car park in Dunedin, New Jersey, and I am locked out of the venue again. Andy, let me in. Sometimes uh, wine, women, and song, sex, all that sort of thing, very important, guitars. People often overlook the importance of sewing. Sewing is metal. Well, the needle is. He's like, yeah, so there's this event. It's like a, a really interesting event, and you could totally do stand up there. There's going to be a band playing, and it's actually it's centered around a, a satanic ritual. interesting, a satanic ritual in Detroit. Didn't think we'd be doing that on this tour, but hey, why not? Some people don't know that they even are. I invite you to take my hand and fellowship. We find it in this really cool, kind of artsy area with murals all over the, the buildings, and we get to the building and we walk up this, this uh, staircase, it was just Scott and I, and uh, we get to the top and it's like a satanic, like, speakeasy. <laughs> You know, there's like a guardian at the door. So she looks at us with her completely dark eyes. You know, those contacts. And, uh, or maybe not. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. And she said, who's your friend? I'm like, ah, oh, well, Mark. We're gonna see Mark. No, 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 who's your friend? Um, uh, Andrew? No, no. Who's your friend? And Scott looks at me and he goes, Oh, Satan? <laughs> She's like, Yes, you may go in. <laughs>
Brutal fascist dictator. That's why I go for Franco's pizza. You've tried Stalin's pizza, you've tried Mussolini's pizza, you've tried Hitler's pizza, but now go Spanish with Franco's pizza, free garroting with every 12 inch. And a picture of an Italian thing on it. <laughs> it's true! It's the Coliseum. Okay. <laughs> Lost in New York. I'm not actually lost. We're just not going anywhere. Where have they gone? What's he doing? There's no point really, is there? I mean, look, get enough of that at home. Pain, stress, tension for men and women. Not worth the money. Damn it! Ha <laughs> ha 